Hello, Paul Quinn College Office of Admissions. My name is Michaela Wright. The very first question that I will be answering for you all today is, if you were inviting any five people to dinner, past, present, or future, who would they be and why? The very first person that I will be inviting to dinner is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I come from a very religious family, and having the opportunity of being able to actually speak to our Lord and Savior face-to-face -face over dinner would be an opportunity that I would be unable to pass. The second question would be Dr. Claudia L. Thomas. Claudia L. Thomas was the very first African-American woman to major in orthopedics at Yale. She then moved to complete her education at John Hopkins College. I aspire to be an orthopedic surgeon. And having the opportunity of speaking to her in her journey of how she persevered over discrimination would be amazing. The third person would be my father. My father passed when I was three. I have very little memory of him. And the one memory that I do have of him is him teaching me my very first prayer. The prayer that I say to this day. Being able to ask him if he's okay and if I'm making him proud would be amazing. And the fourth person would be Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith acts as an anchor for black boys and girls in our community. She created the show of the Red Table Talk to speak to people who are going through a tough time, letting them know that they're not alone and I look up to her as a person. The fifth person would be Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele created two of the very successful movies of Get Out and Us. His movies include um, very subliminal messages for the African American community. Messages such as how, we're, how we are oppressed as a community. And I would like to pick his brain and learn what behooves him to write such powerful movies. The second question I will be answering is one of the four L's of Quint Leadership states, live a life that matters. This speaks to one's personal legacy. Which five words would you want to use to describe your legacy? The five words that I will use to describe my legacy are capability, growth, empowerment, strength, and forgiveness. Capability because I know that I am capable, although it will be difficult. I know that I am capable of becoming an African American orthopedic surgeon as well as being a woman. And I would like everyone else to know that they are capable of reaching each and every one of their goals. Although it may seem difficult now, everyone has the power if you are willing to go out and get it. The second word was growth. Everyone is able of moving from where they are now to become more successful. No one is, no one has to stay stagnant. Everyone can move. Everyone can do better than what they're doing now. Everyone can reach their goals. You just have to want to do it. You have to want to get help and want to want to want to go and move and to be more successful. I'm sorry. The third question the third word was empowerment. I think that it's a big deal to let someone know that they are important. Even if it's one person a day, at least just say, Hey, you're amazing because a little bit can go a long way. One compliment can go a long way. And it's important that we lift up our brothers and sisters because some people may be going through a difficult time and you may not know and just one encouraging word a day can make a big difference the fourth word was strength growing up you have to be strong you have to have thick skin because there's going to be a lot of people trying to tear you down but if you know within that you are a strong person and that you are capable of anything no one can stop you no one can getting your way because you know that you're like you know yourself that you are powerful you are capable you are someone you matter and if you know that from within no one can tear you down and finally forgiveness holding on to hurt and anger will do nothing you have to learn to let go because holding grudges will do nothing but tear you down you have to forgive that person for what they did you have to say it's okay i forgive you you don't have to forget but forgiveness is everything because holding that bad energy will do nothing but deteriorate you and your energy and your soul. You have to let it go and you say it's okay because you're moving up. And that person may not be, but you are. And so as long as you know that you're doing better for yourself, holding on to the, the past will do nothing for you. Thank you.